Okay, time for a video and a little bit of an early video today uh, because, as it turns out, uh, we got some news and uh, there'll be m more news later because today is uh, August 29th. And for those of you who know, very close to the end of the month, which means the beginning of a new month, which means, uh, you know, a producer letter uh, explaining what we can expect for September and, you know, probably starting to talk about the anniversary because uh, JP's anniversary is November. And, you know, not only that, but as soon as summer is basically over here on JP, we're already thinking about Halloween. Halloween stuff is starting to pop up at the shop. Unless you're talking about Costco, in which case Halloween stuff has been there since, I don't know, April. <laughs> but we're not here to talk about Costco. We're here to talk about what to expect. So first thing, for people who are wondering about shoot, what is it? Dragon Quest Sephiroth, which is a really bad name. Uh, Pizarro, that's what his name was. Uh, Pizarro details will come later today and hopefully it'll be a much more complete uh, look at the character as always the beginning of a month banners always begin at midnight on jp so we're about two days ahead uh roughly which is basically when the details drop for this kind of stuff and producer letter uh, can be any time between today and tomorrow Zaro we'll get probably a lot of information between those two and more complete information hopefully we'll find out uh what they've given him because on the live stream they weren't sure if they were going to give him a follow-up attack like astoria or you know more survivability or it, it basically they didn't have a full and complete detail for how it was going to be which makes it really difficult to say if he's going to be worth it or not Fire isn't exactly in the greatest place, and there might be a warrior crystal showing up too at the beginning of the month. We'll see. But that brings me to this series of tweets because there was a fan meetup in Osaka over the weekend, and there actually are a couple of fan meetups still to come, I do believe. Uh, they're going a little bit across country having some fan meetups. I did not go because I am really not interested in going to one of these events uh, anymore. I've done them in the past for Brave Exvius, and honestly, it was just mm, not worth it. Thankfully, though, we did get some details. So, apparently, they were talking about... Uh, what is it? <laughs> I lost my train of thought because the music stopped there for a second there. Uh, it is about kind of what we can expect for characters for the next little while, and this will be interesting to quite a few people. And I don't think it's really what are too spoilery in terms of what also we might be getting because there are still Warriors of the Crystals, another story. Uh, collaborations that will come around anniversary time so there's still plenty of unknown things but let's get through a whole bunch of stuff none of this is 100% confirmed but since it came from a fan meetup I'm gonna put this in 90% likely so first the tweet was confirming that Reagan will be coming sometime between October and November now to me uh, it's very unlikely that we see an October 15th release of him, or even in the last week around Halloween. I think this is going to be a November 1st character, so, you know, between October and November, that's the kind of date. I mean, maybe it's going to be pushed a little bit back, but I think that, essentially, we've been hearing about Reagan since the beginning of the year when they were talking about him, and... I mean, we've made multiple predictions at multiple times and been disappointed multiple times on this channel about the fact that Reagan was probably coming and then just never did. So, yeah. But apparently this was from a fan meetup, so I'm going to say that it's probably 90% accurate. Uh, it doesn't seem like the date is 100% decided. Maybe they want it more on the 15th. Maybe they want it more on the 1st. 
I guess they could be pushing it to the 15th, although that seems a little early. I'm wondering, I mean, anniversary plans are usually thought pretty well thought out, so I'm curious about why it's such a range there. Maybe they're just trying to be vague. But yeah, Reagan seems to be coming. Next up, confirmation for October that apparently Lucia, or, well, confirmation from this source that Lucia will be getting a Halloween version which is kind of interesting. I don't know how. I'm not like the biggest fan of Lucia, but I'm sure that there are some people. The Halloween version of Luthi Lucia could be pretty interesting, and I guess we'll have to just wait and see. Uh, skipping to the fourth tweet. Uh, the fourth tweet is about Adelard, and apparently Adelard will be getting a costume. Uh, or at least an alternate version. Uh, let me just double check really quickly here. Yeah, apparently a new costume has been decided for Adelard. Now, given how costumes work in JP and Aversions, uh, this could be a UR version of Adelard to do with the story. It could be to do with Season 3 story, because Season 3 is supposed to be starting, or Book 3 or Chapter 3 of the main story is supposed to be starting around anniversary time. So that, so that, that timing kind of would work out if Adelard maybe is getting... And maybe there's a time gap, maybe there's something going on, maybe Adelard has been knighted. I don't exactly know. But I guess we'll have to see. And the third tweet and final tweet is... Uh, I just think it's talking about the actual fan meetup, but those seem to be the major details here. So just to review at the end of this video, Halloween Lucia, new version of Adelard, or some kind of costume that might just be a story thing, but it might be a new character. And last but not least, Reagan, uh, kind of dated for being uh, either October or November, and that's about it. Given that we have the Warrior of the Crystals starting up soon as well, seems like there will be a lot of stuff before we even get the third anniversary where we'll be getting a new story and probably a brand new collaboration or at least a bunch of new characters and all of that so lots and lots of stuff to think about but for globalers i mean you guys are pretty good about getting the halloween units at the same time that we do so that could mean that uh, this is details for you guys because you'll be getting Dragon Quest about the same time that you will be getting uh, the Halloween stuff. So that would work out very nicely in thematically and all kinds of stuff. With monsters and spookiness and all kinds of shit. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found this video interesting. Of course, nothing is a hundred percent confirmed. Uh, and as a bonus at the end of this video, I'll also just throw out there that it was maybe mentioned this is the biggest rumor of all the rumor that i heard was effectively that something for tactics had been decided for the third anniversary whether that is final fantasy tactics again tactics advanced or tactics advanced 2 from the game boy game or game boy event yeah well, the game boy series well, that's close enough now it's the game boy advance that it came out on i was just thinking anyway seems to be something for third anniversary however this was pretty dubious the source that i did talk to uh kind of just was a little wishy-washy on it uh it could have been that they were talking about tactics ogre as well which they've said in the past is a collaboration that will be coming and it could we just ended up getting tactics for the 2.5 anniversary so to get it for 2.5 and then 3 without a something for Final Fantasy 7 or 8 or 9 or a lot of the other stuff feels a little weird. Um, but I guess we've... Yeah, 
take that with the biggest grain of salt, but the rest of this is probably. Anyway, see you.